Today we're going to be playing some Lee Sin Jungle. And as you guys can see here, we are dropping an invade. Teammates are not playing this optimally, in my opinion. But anyway. Hold on. So we're gonna invade this guy's Krogs here too. We're really looking to try and punch them as much as possible this game. No flash in that center, that's why I knew that play worked. You guys didn't get to see that though because um, the game has started a little bit earlier. Now I think Rengar's probably gonna go into my top side to invade my top side. Um, but I don't think I get to get there in time because I looked for that bullying gank. So I'd really love my players to go check it out, but I'm just going to continue on with the full clear here of Rengar's bot side to really punish him as much as possible. Oh no, I fucked up with the uh, spell leveling. Oops. Oops. Wait a second, what? Okay. I'm confused. Oh no. Alright, TP coming out of the mouth pot. Okay, yeah, I can watch this fight. I can probably go to this um, Herald here. Not Herald, pardon me, Scuttle Crab. Ringo did his blue, then my red. Nice. Raptors guys and then we'll take our reset afterwards. I definitely slowed down my game a lot by not taking the E when I should have. Um, the reason I fucked this up is because I normally go QE instead of QW for faster clear. Even though it's much more unhealthy. Which is what I normally do. Jump across the mid wave here. Bot side camps spawning. Bring us here. Ah, uh, no good. No good. Oh, why that guy was not going to hide to me. Quickly gonna take the blue here guys, then take the reset. So this game they have pretty long range team for the most part. So instead of going for the gold drink up, we're gonna go with clips here. And so what you'll see here is I'm spying Eclipse plus, oh sorry, Dirk plus Pink Ward basically. And I've also got tier one boots. 
Now, Rengar is most likely clearing these bots I can. So the one thing I want to do is make sure that I'm at Rengar's red to kill his red part of me as soon as it spawns. That way we can keep up that pressure on him. And then this time, I should be able to also go and invade. So take his red and then also match my red. So let me go here. Now, if Rengar's smart, he'll run straight to his red, not his blue, but we'll see what he does. Saving my queue here just in case he's already on it. Okay. Oh, that's really good for us. We got uh, Rengar's red there. I might just run straight mid here for the gank as I cross over towards um, my red buff. fine i'll regen back off my camp although i think that my z probably could have uh done a little bit more there just save my spells here in case ringo jumped on me all right nice so as expected, there was the Rengar there, and I'm happy to just ward and go over to my Krogs here. If he stays, he has to waste a bunch of time. Ah, uh, unfortunate. exactly where the Rengar is going so I'm just peeing that out to my bot lane and then I'm gonna move up and take this Herald here in a moment it's gonna save my Q here in case there's no blast plan no oh, there was a blast plan Yeah, so I thought the Rengar might have used that blast plant to get out of here. Okay, not sure that guy shunned him, but that's pretty grief. So there's that Diana. Oh, also, it looks like a pretty free Herald here, although, uh, sorry, not a pretty free Herald, pretty free drag. What I'm going to do though is quickly gank bot and then go to the drag. Oh, I don't know where they are, man. This invisibility shit. I mean, I know where the center was, but I was not looking for her. going on here I hate doing early dragons for this reason man crazy so crazy Thank you. 
Holy shit, that was my level one Grom. But I took Grom, to be honest. Or Elia, clear. Anyway, I'm gonna go quickly pick up the uh, Rengar's red here in a second. I wanna keep trying to take that red basically every single time I get the option. Looks like it's not the worst thing in the world. Rotating down, pretty much chilling. Oh, uh, which boots here? We can go steel caps. Yep, looks good. All right, we're gonna go wolves here. Also, guys, probably should be pinging a little bit more this game. I think my communication is not that good here with my teammates, but, um, you know, Rango should be on his top side, taking his top side caps right now. So, we'll ping that out. with the Silas just in case there was a Rengo there ready to jump on him but presumably they shouldn't be. I die. Where's that really in Solat? Like, I feel like you had to recall one of these bushes here. This wave's not fully pushed out, and that's like not good. But when we can test this drag, I don't think that we can uh, push it out fully. And getting it out a little bit is better than nothing. This said call actually. I'm gonna go quickly hover the Herald. It's 
stuff. Fucking rock solid guy, yeah. Nice, another eclipse proc. Getting Frank guys first time getting his own red this game, I think. Unless he tries to contest this surely. Second. Tears Harold. Or maybe not, so it's roaming. I don't think it matters. I think that uh, it's definitely not worth using Harold for such small amount of tower damage. I say this all the time, guys, in videos and coaching sessions, but when you're using your Harold, you want to think about like how you're going to get maximum value out of it. If you use first charge for a tower with what, 1000 health, you're just not getting good value. in uh, Q there. This is a better Herald. It's a little bit more. 2000 health. Okay, got Diana and Rengar coming here. I don't know. No Diana. How we play this? So fucked. Alright, get my teammates out of here, try and macro manage them. Since there'll be a Diana coming any moment now. Also, sweep for any wards there. Excellent. I just uh, finish off a full clear here, or maybe not a full clear, I just get my red actually, and then I go to the drag, because that way I'll be there on time to make sure that I'm there for any good plays. So I want to be there a little bit early, especially on a champion like Lee Sin that has the pick potential, and see if we can get a pick before any objective. If we can get a pick before any objective, that'll really, really help out on our objective taking. So I'm actually going to base here, basing a little bit early. They don't really have any magic damage going on at the moment, so we're probably going to opt into this death dance here. Um, uh, I'm going to weigh the chain vest, but it goes against like what I just said about the picks. But I feel like it's a pretty worthy uh, weight. Also, I feel like there's not going to be a pick here based on like what's going on on the map. But if I felt like uh, there was urgency that I needed to get to the drag, I would not weigh that chain vest. Alright, 
quickly take this drag. I'm gonna go over the wall. I miss my uh miss my ability. God damn it. Okay, I've regened up a little bit. We could probably go for this baron, I think. Need the Kaiser to come. This guy doing. Hey, you see players, man. Well, lucky that we're fed enough that we can just carry this guy. Because, yeah, basically, he's griefing. You take all the kills so far, um, yeah, so, as I expected, he's griefing. I don't even know what kills he's talking about, given he has, like, what, four assists or something? Yeah. XD. Guy might be a little bit, uh, a bit of a noob. We also want to pick up his ult if possible. It's pretty huge. If we can siege here, I might look for maybe a pick on the Aurelian Soul if I can. Nice to use this shit too. So what I'm gonna do is try and rotate across towards mid. was preoccupied unfortunately there. Um I think GA is kind of a play here. So we're gonna pick up GA. Oh sorry, we're gonna pick up the BF sword component for the GA. I think that's pretty unlikely that I even get GA'd this game, but if I do I think that they also won't just be able to stand on top of me and kill me. If say they had a bit more strength though, especially in the Railway and Soul, I wouldn't go to the GA. Thank you. 
Looks like this is going to be GG, guys. Again, as always, if you guys did enjoy the content, make sure to like and subscribe. Hopefully, you guys feel as though you learned something here today and that your gameplay will be improved from watching today's video. That's always the aim of these uh, videos. Also, guys, if you're looking to improve your gameplay to an even higher level, we recommend one-on-one -on -one coaching by my site, coachmarket.com. I've coached, I don't know, hundreds of people now, really. Um, but even for my YouTube, it's probably getting close to somewhere around that 100 person mark. So, again guys, if you are interested in improving, I'd highly recommend checking that out. Also, I've recently released my coaching program, so if you're someone who wants to, you know, be in a very, very consistent learning environment more than, um, you know, one-off sessions, then I'd recommend joining that. It's probably the premier service that I offer, uh, where you can get the most improvement and also for the best price. Basically, in that you have access to pod reviews, clip reviews, um, guides slash courses whenever I make them, and also a community aspect, which can't really be found anywhere else for educational League of Legends content. All right, that's game. I'll quickly show you guys the runes since we want something a little bit unique this game, which I think a lot of you guys will get some benefit from checking out, but otherwise, I should be pretty chill. Um, one of this little fucking rat Melio thing. Um, pretty well this game. She was pretty useful. All right, quickly, just uh, do a little bit of plugging there, and then I'll show you guys the runes. This is what we took here in the runes. Took the bow plating. I think it's pretty helpful for us. Um, some of these other early game champions that can also play quite well into you. Yeah, this is uh, what I'd recommend taking into this matchup specifically. Other things you could have taken though is like Cosmic Insight, Free Boots, or um, Domination with say Ingenious Hunter, I think it is, which gives like the wards cooldown and um, Bible Collector. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Good luck on your climb. Best of luck with your improvements. Take care. Have a good day.